Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Ms. Nene and welcome to Ms. Nene's Art. So today I'm making two hand mirrors. I got some wood cutouts. I'm going to be using this Barbie one and the Afro Lady one. Both of these wood cutouts are on my website at MissNene'sArt.com. So if you want one, check it out. So I'm going to make, like I said, two mirrors. I want to do them both. I picked up these cute little mirrors here from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby just seems to have just about everything that I need when I need it right away. Because usually I order the stuff in bulk. But I needed the mirrors. This idea came to me one night and I wanted to do it. So I went to Hobby Lobby, found these mirrors, and voila, here we are. <laughs> so I'm going to be using those mirrors. I'm also going to be painting them. I have my paint. I have my beads, these cute little beads right here, both of them, I got them from Amazon. I will leave a link to these in the description below for you. But yeah, I'm just gonna prep these two ladies. I have my paint and I have my glue and I have my mirror, I have everything. I'm ready to go. So for my Afro lady here, I used at first the Arteza bronze but you will see that I ended up wiping it off and adding um, and using the Rich Espresso by Deco Art. And the reason I did that is because I didn't like how it was spreading onto the wood cutout. It was really thick. It was leaving a lot of lines and I didn't like that. So you'll see where I didn't show that I wiped it off, but you will see that um, I'm going to be using a different color for her, which worked out even better. Okay, so here it is. I'm using the Deco Art uh, Rich Espresso. As you can see there and the color is a little dark as you can see because you can still see some of this paint on there and like I said the paint the Arteza the, the Arteza um, bronze is a beautiful paint it's just that the paint was old and it was not spreading the way that I wanted to I needed it to be a smooth uh, process and the paint wasn't smooth at all it was really thick and it was leaving a lot of lines so that's the reason why I switched Okay, so for her hair, I'm using Folk Art Color Shift Black Flash. It doesn't really color shift, I mean, it's black. It's not a really dark black, but it works. I like to lay the color down on her hair so that, you know, even though I'm gonna lay down the beads, you know, there's gonna be some little gaps in between the beads and I wanted it to be some color there instead of just the tan color of the board. So it's always good to lay down a base. Okay, so with this one, I use my Master's Touch Milky White mixed with some Rich Espresso from Deco Art. Just a little bit of the um, Rich Espresso. I didn't want it to be too pale, so I added a little bit of that just to tone it down some to give it more of a, um, how should I say, more of a tannish look instead of a extreme white look.
Okay, so my ladies are all dry and good to go. I love how the color dried, nice and smooth and pretty. I painted the back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the process. First, I'm gonna put down the mirror and then I'm going to lay the beads. Um, I am going to be speeding this up quite a bit because it was a very long process putting those beads on, long, tedious, but I enjoyed it. So, but I'm not gonna have you sitting here for three hours watching me lay beads, so I'm going to speed it up quite a bit. So, I will catch you on the end.
Okay, they are dry. I went on ahead and sprayed uh, a sealer on in the garage. So they both have a nice little gloss to them now. Turned out perfect. I'm really happy with how they turned out. It was a lot of work, but it was so enjoyable seeing how they turned out. So pretty. Oh my God, those beads are amazing. This one here, I just gave her a simple little necklace. It still has a little sparkle to it. But her hair, these beads are just awesome. I will definitely make sure to leave a link to both sets of beads in the description below. Let me know what you think about these two. Leave me some um, feedback in the comments below. I'd love to read your thoughts on it. Very, very pretty. This one had the most smallest beads, which was a little bit more tedious to do, but when you look at the end results, it's so worth it. But I want to thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate you being here and watching my videos. So please don't forget to leave um, a comment below and subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz. So I don't want you to miss anything because I've got a lot of new things coming up very, very soon. So as always, stay safe. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.